Now we are back on the Thursday MLB Central. Ballpark Cam up and running at Comerica Park. Mets would like yesterday back. Fell in back-to-back -back games to the Tigers. Now a day game to finish off the set. Not just any day game. We will see number 35 for the first time in a Mets uniform. Justin Verlander. Big day. Steve Gelbs. He will be there. He covers the Mets for SNY. And he joins us now on Central. Good morning to you. Justin Verlander is a Met. He's pitching today on MLB Network in Detroit. It's almost too much to deal with. Buck Showalter's whiteboard is going crazy. Good morning. Set the scene for us today, this afternoon. Yeah, Lauren, there, there's a lot of excitement, obviously, surrounding Justin Verlander's return. For him, he's, he's champing at the bit. He's talked often about how this is not how he foresaw his uh, his Mets tenure beginning. And, you know, it's kind of one of these these small but nagging injuries he's been able to throw throughout the entirety of it. So, you know, he's he's really been been champing, like I said, to get out there finally and, and make his Mets debut. But, you know, in a bigger context, I think from a Mets fans perspective, an organization perspective, this was this was the guy. This was the prize this offseason. There was so much talk about the amount of money that Steve Cohen spent, um, but so much of it was on retaining his own guys, Brandon Nimmo, Edwin Diaz. And so with Verlander out, um, it's kind of felt like a continuation of last season, mm. the start of this season, which, you know, you know, listen, it was a great season last year, but it ended very poorly. And so I think this team, this organization, this fan base needs that jolt, needs that feeling of, okay, something's changing, something's coming. And I think Verlander could give that to them today. Yeah, the ovation he got on opening day on the Mets home opener was everything, right? Timing is everything as well. The excitement is one thing, but it comes at a time you need depth in your rotation. Speak to the rotation and, and what he can do. Well, listen, Lauren, this rotation has been the, the biggest issue with this Mets team so far. Uh, they've got an ERA. The starters do north of five and a half. is 25th best in Major League Baseball. And beyond even the the uh, inconsistencies, it's the lack of length that has been the most concerning. I mean, this is a team that is not averaging five innings per start. And so the bullpen's getting taxed. Buck Showalter, who, as you guys know, when, when you worked with him on the network, he cares so much about managing a bullpen. And he just has been unable to do it the way that he wants to because his starters have simply not given him the length. So I think from Verlander's perspective, uh, yeah, listen, the Mets would love a 1.75 ERA, another Cy Young season like they saw a year ago, but they just need someone that can consistently be competent, give them length, give them solid quality outings. They have not gotten that so far. And again, from a Mets perspective, hopefully today is the day that changes. Uh, d -Row always laughs when he talks about Buck managing the bullpen. He says he's three innings ahead of you when you're thinking about the game. <laughs> planning and you know that all too well yesterday on the show Steve we showed Justin and Max and their journey here and both of them in their Detroit uniforms we saw Max yesterday and you've seen him for a year and a half up close what did you see yeah, kind of what D-Row was talking about. I mean, he was not good yesterday. There's there's no sugarcoating it. Three and a third, six earned runs, two home runs. I mean, the home runs have been concerning. He's already given up six home runs this season in five starts. Only gave up 13 a year ago, and so he's almost halfway there. Uh, I think when you look at Max Scherzer, it's, it's kind of the Rorschach test of whether you're an optimist or a pessimist. I, I think from the pessimistic side, uh, you look at him and you say, okay, he hasn't been good all season. His, his velo is down a little bit. He talked about that yesterday. Um, and so, hey, he's getting up there in age. Is, is this the beginning of the decline? Uh, on the positive end, though, and I tend to be more in this camp, now, this is still a guy who last year, he put up his best ERA ever, a 2.29 ERA, and it's been a really inconsistent start to the season just in terms of routine. Um, you know, coming into yesterday, he had only thrown three innings because of the suspension and a back injury in the last three and a half weeks. Uh, so I really do think with a guy like Scherzer, you have to trust and give him a little bit more time. Hopefully now he can get on that every five-day routine. He can start to figure some things out. Um, and again, I think he deserves a little bit of a longer rope. He's coming off a 2 point. 2.29 ERA once again last season, but there's no doubt that right now the the early returns are concerning an ERA of 5.56 through those five starts and did not look good at all yesterday. And two of the best to ever do it on the Mets. We will see Justin Verlander this afternoon on our air. I pray for you for a win. So a happy flight back to Queens. Steve Gelbs with the very latest. Appreciate it.